Hi, my name is Andy. I'm from Hillborn Fuel Injection, and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to download a base program into your new Holly HP or Dominator ECU. When you buy an EFI kit or Holly hardware from us, we will supply a customized base program for your application to help get you running. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is download the disk that is supplied with the ECU. Please allow it to download the drivers. Uh, and when done, it will put an icon on your desktop. Next, download the email zip folder that I sent to you uh, to your desktop. If you're going to be working from your desktop, I really recommend that you create a folder to save everything in. Very simply, right-click on the, on the desktop, go to New, Folder, name it anything you want. I'll name it Andy Holly Folder. Uh, we'll proceed to unzip the zip folder. Just double left click on it. I will pop open a window where there's now an unzipped folder in there. Let's left click on this blue header to give us some room so we can left click our newly unzipped folder into the folder on our desktop. We can now go ahead and close this window. Alright, let's open up the software. And we're going to go right to Open Global Folder. To navigate to our desktop folder, let's choose our Create New Directory. Scroll down, left click on our folder which has our program in it. Left click on our program, hit OK, and then hit Bin. All right, you'll know you've been successful downloading that, that program into your, uh, your uh, software because on the top blue header, it will show the name of the program. All right, next we need to communicate with the ECU. Currently, our communication status is offline. We need to go to USB link by plugging in our USB cable into both the ECU and into our laptop. Uh, on new installations, this may take a minute for the drivers to download. Eventually, USB link will pop up. If after a minute or so it doesn't pop up, uh, go ahead and, and unplug the USB cable from your laptop and plug it back in. Let's power up the power to our ECU. All right, so it would try to communicate before we power it up, so let's just hit cancel. With the power onto the ECU and the USB link active, we're going to click on USB link. Now, <clears throat> in between where the sync window pops up, you may have gotten a small window that says um, a software is set for HP uh, EFI. If you're using an HP ESC, e ECU, then click OK, and then this window will, will pop up the sync window. Obviously, everything has failed because your ECU will be empty. We will go down here to the Send to ECU button and click on that. All the lights will turn green, which is great, and we can close this window. Now that we've successfully uploaded into the ECU, the next thing we need to do is lock that information into the ECU. That's accomplished by powering down your ECU with your key or your switch. All right, let's power it back up again. <clears throat> now your fuel pump should be running if you're running them through the ECU. Now let's click on USB link again to communicate. We'll close that window. Over on the bottom left-hand side is a sensor monitor. With my laptop, I'll need to open it up a little bit so I can see the whole thing. And you'll notice that uh, this quick sensor monitor gives us some, some information uh, about uh, what's happening currently. In this case, the RPM will show stall because we're not cranking or running. My TPS shows zero. Uh, on new ECUs, though, your ECU will show uh, needs cal. Uh, in other words, without calibrating the TPS, the ECU will not allow any other functions to happen. So we'll calibrate that in a moment. But uh, we can also scan our MAP sensor, our manifold air temperature, our coolant temp sensor, and battery voltage. All right. So uh, let's go back and, and take care of uh, calibrating the TPS. Let's find our sync icon. It's a circle with two arrows chasing each other. We're going to click on that small down arrow to the right of that and on TPS auto set. It's going to ask us to make sure that we know the ignition is on and the engine's not started. We will click start. It will tell us to slowly press the pedal to the floor to slowly release the pedal to do this twice. So I will go ahead and do that right now. That's one. That's two. All right, done. TPS auto set was successful. 
If for some reason you get an error 5 code and it was not successful, give us a call at the Hillborn Tech Line. We'll go over um, uh, some diagnostics to uh, figure out why the TPS is not working correctly. All right, let's, uh, let's agree to that. All right, and now we can power down the ECU to lock the TPS auto set into memory. Uh, that uh, concludes our tutorial on how to download the base uh, program into your Holly ECU. If you have any questions, please call us at the, Holly, or at the Hillborn Tech Line. And uh, thank you very much for watching our video. And thank you also for choosing Hillborn Fuel Injection for your EFI needs.